Hi friends, this is Kim from Creative DIY Purpose. Welcome. Today we'll take four thrift store finds and give them a holiday makeover. But I'm most excited to share with you the final reveal of this wooden chair because it's gonna get a touch of Christmas magic. At the end of the video, I'll share some photos of my Christmas booth reset and a few thrifted items that I think you'll enjoy seeing. Project number one is a round wooden cutting board that I purchased new for $3.99 from a thrift store. I think it would make a nice holiday sign or even a tray. I went through my stencil collection and found this mistletoe one from the stencilsmith.com. I do share their link down below in the description box and I have a 15% off coupon code for you off your entire purchase. I was so excited because I felt that it fit on here perfectly. I make a mistake and I do correct it and I'll explain that to you in just a little bit. The color that I'm using is red apple and it's acrylic paint from Apple Barrel. It goes on a very bright red, but I have noticed that as it dries, it does darken up. The stencil brush that I'm using is from the stencilsmith.com. I gotta tell you, I'm so impressed with their brushes. I have probably used them hundreds of times, if not more. They clean up very easily. I, I don't think I've ever lost a bristle out of them. And, and so far they've held their shape very well. All right, so when I took the stencil off, I didn't even realize that it was off-centered. My first thought was, oh, I got to do something with this indentation. So I grabbed some green paint um, from Apple Barrel, and I apologize. I don't know what shade of green that is, but I love it. Um, and I'm applying it using a Q-tip, and it works very well. Um, at this point, I still have not realized that I cut part of the tee off for trees on the bottom, and the S for reefs. So you watch me go through this whole process. I even add the wax on, used Dixie Bell's Best Dang Wax. And the next morning I go in there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. So I sand the entire piece and reapply the stencil and ta-da, there's the finished product. Because there was no way that I could try to sell that knowing that that was off like that. Maybe if it was for my home, I could have, but I'm happy that I took the time and went back to fix it. All right, so let me know, was I being too picky or would you have fixed it as well? A couple weeks ago, we went to Salvation Army and I was shocked that I found all three of those pieces and I think that they were all under six or seven dollars, which is super rare. So I sanded the chair and, and applied two coats of silk paint in the color Oyster. Then I went over and dry brushed with French linen, also from Dixie Belle. I used most of this North Pole hot cocoa stencil on the seat of the chair in a variety of colors. Then on the top part of the chair, I decided to take this coffee stencil and just use the coffee cup, make it look like cocoa, and write freshly brewed and add two of the swirl designs up at the top. Then using the same red and green paint, I went and painted part of the spindles and then applied copper gilding wax where I painted on the spindles along the edges of the seat and the top of the chair, and then just random places for a little pop of holiday shimmer. Then topped it off with a coat of clear wax. It was time consuming, but I enjoyed the transformation. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I just added it to my booth a couple days ago, so I'm excited to see if it sells. For project number two, let's take this pedestal riser that I purchased at a thrift store. I believe it was around $3.99. If you want to take a screenshot, those are the supplies that we're going to use. Did you ever start a project and you have no idea what you're going to do? That's how this one was. I started at around 7 a.m. And I dump entirely too much of that acrylic paint. And that is the color red apple. All right, so that's what it looks like after. And you still see some of the black showing through because I only did one coat. Next, I take the Royal Damask stencil from Dixie Bell. This stencil I typically use on my furniture pieces, but I thought that I would try something different for me at least. I'm gonna try to put this design on the top of the riser using copper gilding wax. 
Now this process did take me a little longer than I thought. I thought I was going to get just get in there and, you know, go over the stencil with it and be done. But I had to do it in layers um, and lift up the stencil a few times to peek under there. Um, it didn't come out the way that I envisioned that it would. Um, and of course here it's hard to tell because it was a beautiful sunny morning so my lighting was off but i'm a firm believer that sometimes you just got to trust the process and keep on layering wiping back layering wiping back so i went along the edges to add some of the copper gilding wax using the stencil brush continuing to apply it on in layers i did have to go over some of the top again and make it a little bit darker using the stencil now you can tell it's late at night, <laughs> so you can see the stencil a lot better. You can tell that I went over it again. Then I decided it needed some more texture, so I'm applying some black wax from Dixie Bell along the edges. I'm applying it on with this, my stencil brush. I just kept going. I had the brush in my hand, um, and I do take some out of the container and then wipe back a little of it on my craft paper because I didn't want it to get too heavy. And again, just putting it on in the areas that I thought that it needed it, wiping it back until I felt that I was happy with the way that it looked. Then looking at it, I decided to just add some random spots of black wax and then taking my cloth and kind of blotting it um, to see how it would look and letting it sit there for a little bit and then wiping it back a little more. I continued that process throughout the whole piece and then finished it up with a coat of clear wax. This definitely was time consuming and I didn't plan on dedicating that much time to this piece. Do you guys ever have that with a project where, where you just kind of run with whatever idea pops in your head and you kind of can't stop <laughs> until you're happy with the result? For project number three, I'll upcycle one of these thrifted footstools that I purchased from the thrift store. I gave it two coats of bonding boss from Dixie Bell. The one we're working on today is the one in the back, and that received two coats of silk paint. The other stool I upcycled in last week's video. If you missed it or want to watch it again, I will link it on at the end of this one, and you can head over and check it out. And this one I put in my booth and it sold within a week. All right, so for this next stool, I would use the mistletoe stencil from the Stencil Smith. I applied one very faint coat of black paint because I wanted to put the stencil back on and adding a faint pop of color to the berries, a couple of the lines, and the word mistletoe. Before I sealed this piece with clear wax, I did take some copper gilding wax and go all along the edges. So I believe October 24th is when I did the Christmas reset and both the stool and the green basket from last week's video both sold within the first day. So I was really excited and I do plan on doing some more upcycled projects using that stencil. Project number four, we're going to make a gift canister. Here's a list of materials that I used if you'd like to take a screenshot. I did two of these in last week's video, and I think they're super sweet. This, and because they're all in like new condition, definitely think that they would be appropriate to give a gift in. So I think last week, I believe we did a hot cocoa jar and one for cookies. This one I thought I would use a transfer that maybe you could keep out all winter long. So I thought I'd pick this village scene. It has some snowy trees and a little bit of snow on the ground, so I thought this would be cute. And I thought you could tuck different types of snacks in there to give as a gift or just about anything, maybe a hat and mittens. So placing a gift inside of it and using it instead of a gift box or a gift bag. So it's like two presents in one. And now that I'm watching it, I think, Boy, that would be really nice base for maybe a floral arrangement or even putting like a fake Christmas tree and, and putting that on display or giving it as a gift as well. You could use these canisters for just about anything. 
I'm always on the lookout for plain, solid, colored canisters and pitchers when I go to the thrift store. In your area, do these tend to be a common item that you see? And if they are, you know, is it something that you usually pick up and hold on to to you find that perfect project for them? Or is it usually something that you pass on? So I had a little bit larger of a canister like the hot cocoa one that we did last week. And this was the transfer from the same series that I decided to put on that one. All right, so I need your help. I picked up these two wire items and I cannot figure out what these were used for. And I even ran a Google search. My first thought was that the basket style one would be used as like a magazine rack. But when I put some magazines in there, it kind of toppled over. Then the one on the right, I thought that it would be for like to display a pillar candle. But I'm not really sure about that because you think there'd be some type of a tray. So if you know what they are, if you can let me know, or what would you do with them? I'd appreciate any help. All right. So like I mentioned earlier, I did a full Christmas reset on the 24th. And I was really happy because I sold quite a few items. Actually, almost everything on that bottom level was gone. And then here's some things that I added. I bought this from the thrift store and I love it. I just added some pine cones and, and some faux greenery inside. And then I found these beautiful embroidered linen napkins. I couldn't pass them up. They're in like new condition. And if they don't sell, I actually might be bringing these home to use because I think they're beautiful. And then I really like this cute little jar. So I added some faux snow and a bottle brush tree. And this one is my favorite. I love melt glass. I added a, a piece of floral foam inside of it. I hot glued that down, added some Spanish moss, mini bottle brush trees that I purchased from Amazon, some faux berries from the Dollar Tree, and a matching velvet ribbon. I took one of the transfers from Redesign and applied it onto the side of the basket. I think it would make a beautiful basket to tuck some gifts inside of it. All right, now don't forget to head over to thestencilsmith.com and check out hundreds of quality stencils for the holidays and for all year round. Use my link that I have posted below or just type in the coupon code CREATIVEDIY15% and save on your order. Friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you have a super blessed week and I will see you next Sunday and share a Christmas collaboration with you.